So guys, for the first step, you want to head over to search and type in view network connections. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to find your network adapter. No matter which one you have, either Ethernet or Wi-Fi, you want to double click on it and then click on properties and then click on internet protocol version 4. Then you want to click on use the current following DNS server address. And then you want to type in 8888 for the first line and for the second line, you want to type in 8844 and then click on OK. So guys, for the next step, you want to head over to search and type in Windows Defender Firewall. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on Advanced Settings. And then you want to click on Inbound Rules. And then select New Rule. Then you want to click on Port. And then click on Next. Then you want to select UDP. And then in this box right here, you want to type in 49152-65535. Click on Next. Click on Next again. Click on Next again. And then just type in Minecraft as the name. And then click on Finish. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then you want to type in add or remove programs. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to scroll down until we see Minecraft Launcher. You want to click on the three dots and then click on Advanced Options. Then you want to scroll down again and click on Terminate. Then you want to click on Reset and then click on Reset again. Then you want to click on Repair. For the next step, you want to head over to search again and type in Check for Updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and make sure the operating system is fully up to date. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and type in CMD. Then you want to run it as administrator. And then click on yes. Now once you're on this, we're going to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS and click on enter. Then we're going to type in netsh space winsock space reset and click on enter again. Now you want to restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. 